Everybody, I'm crooked in my seat. I gotta scooch over. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Beth McCullough from Flamingo Toes, and I'm so excited to be here with you today. Happy Monday! <laughs> I love our Monday videos, they're so fun. Um, I can't believe this is the last week in our Country Daisy sew along. This has been such a fun sew along. I've really loved sewing up these blocks with you guys. And I can't believe we're on our borders already. It's um, It's been a really fun like transition into spring quilt to make and then we'll get to dive into another sew along in just a few weeks. So I'll talk all about that today and I'm super excited to do that one with you guys as well. So I hope you're having a lovely day. It's beautiful here in Tennessee. We had a great weekend and it's like blue skies with little tiny puffy clouds and windy because apparently I live in a like a a wind zone I guess <laughs> so this is what I'm learning it's always windy here so that's not my favorite thing but it's still a gorgeous day I think it's like 60 or something so I just really can't complain about it at all so I hope you're having a good day I might be snowy still where you are but hopefully it's not too bad and we're inching our way towards spring which is awesome so excited to hang out with you guys today we're going to talk about borders on our quilt there are three borders on this quilt so i just have a couple tips for you guys on getting those um, measurements um, as accurate as possible and then i'm going to show you some of the things that uh, we have coming up and things that i've been working on um, uh, for myself as well i actually did some sewing for me so how great is that <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining. Everything that I do is is so, so fun, but sometimes it's fun to make a quilt that's um, just for fun, right? Like, it's really fun. So, uh, let's see who's here today. Dawn's here and Allison. Melissa's here. Hey, Melissa. Dawn says she needs to move to Tennessee. It's really cold where you are, Dawn. You should come. Everybody's nice here. We'd be happy to have you here. <laughs> we would love it. <laughs> Over on YouTube, we have Martha and Dolores. Hey, Morgan. Uh, Dolores says it's sunny and warm in Mississippi. Oh, that sounds lovely. And you guys, it was Mississippi that had all those storms last week, right? Oh, it just breaks my heart. Um, I'm glad you seem to be okay, so I hope that's true. Um, Michael's here. And Mar Martha says it's sunny in Maine, too. Oh, that sounds lovely. I've, okay, Maine is one of the places I've never been. But my kiddos, uh, my son and his wife live in Boston now, so that's a little bit easier as far as trekking to the like Upper East Coast states. So I'm hoping that we can do some more traveling up there and come up to Maine. I would love it. Um, and Carrie says sad for our sad last day. Me too, Carrie. But we have fun things ahead. It'll be great. <laughs> and Janice is here. No snow in Nova Scotia. Oh, nice. That's awesome, Janice. Morgan says, yay, a new sew along. And Katerine is here from Germany and she's watching while she cooks dinner. That's awesome. What are you having for dinner? <laughs> Kat's here, um, Aaron's here. Hey, Aaron. And Martha says the snow is melting. Nice. Oh, that's great. Oh, and Dawn says Maine is wonderful. All right, I'll put it on my list of fun things to do. All right, you guys, it is been busy and fun around here. Um, I am super excited because Sweet Acres is my next fabric collection and it is arriving in stores now. I believe Fat Quarter Shop has it and I've seen it in a few other stores. I am going to put together an initial list of stores this week that are carrying my fabrics and I will add to that as it arrives in stores more. And so I'll keep you guys updated. You know how to find that on my website. Um, if you go to my website, flamingotoes.com, over on the menu, there's a My Fabrics link. And if you kind of hover over that, there's a drop down with different projects from all my collections. But for the current collection, it will say Sweet Acres and then it'll say Sweet Acres Fabric Shops or something like that, Sweet Acres Shops. And like right now, it says that for Daisy Fields. And um, so you can find shops. And so as I find them, I'll keep that page updated. I'll get that up this week and um, and definitely let you know if anybody's carrying kits or of the quilts that are coming out for Sweet Acres 
or anything like that. So it's gonna be very fun and I'm so excited to see what you guys think of Sweet Acres. Um, I saw that Allison posted in our Facebook group. She posted a little peek of her half yard bundle that she bought, which I can't wait to see um, what she makes all with that. So that's very exciting. Oh, Allison said she got her half yard bundle ready. Woohoo, Allison, you can make all the things with that. <laughs> Literally all the things with that. So much. <laughs> oh, Dolores said um, that they're okay. Came within 30 miles of them. Okay, so I'm, I'm very glad that you're okay, Dolores. <laughs> Praying for everybody there. Um, okay, so Sweet Acres is hitting stores, and that means we will be doing some fun things with that coming up. I have new patterns coming out, new needle minders coming out. It's going to be great. Um, I just want to um, update you on a few things. One, I have linked in today's video description. Next week, I'm going to be visiting my girlfriend's quilt shop, which that's the name. It's not a girlfriend of mine. <laughs> It's, it's called My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop. They're based in Utah. And on Wednesdays, I don't know if it's every Wednesday, but I'm for sure on this Wednesday, next week on Wednesday, on their Facebook page, they do this really fun live sale. Um, I think it lasts about an hour. So it'll be sort of a mini trunk show for Sweet Acres. I will have all of my quilts there for Sweet Acres. Plus we will have needle minders that they're going to be selling patterns. This will be kind of a chance to get um, in on um, the patterns that are being released early. I know that they're shipping to other stores as well, but this will be a great opportunity to get some early. And one of the new Sweet Acres needle minders, they're, they're going to be the first ones to have it as well. So um, I have that link to their Facebook page in the video description today. So go over and give them a like um, after our video. <laughs> you don't have to do it right now. Um, and definitely watch for that. I'm also working on a really cool box kit for them. I checked their website this afternoon and it doesn't appear that the kit is available yet, um, but I'm going there to do um, filming a tutorial with it and it's a, gonna be a really fun patriotic quilt um, and kit. There's a whole bunch of things um, along with that. So there's, um, they'll be able to tell you more about it. And as soon as that uh, kit is available live to purchase, I will let you guys know for sure. But I wanted to make sure you put on your calendar next Wednesday night, um, I will be in Utah at their shop and we will be having a live sale. And it's gonna be really fun and I would love to see some of our Flamingo Toes people, or as Rhonda calls us, the Flamingo Toes gang. <laughs> um, uh, I would love to see you guys there. It's gonna be so fun. Even if you can't stay in shop, just pop in and say hi. It would make me feel very happy. <laughs> So check that out next Wednesday night and definitely check out their shop. You can also, it's um, it's my girlfriend's quilt shop and it's shop is S-H-O-P-P-E. So they have really great um, selection of fabrics and kits and all kinds of stuff. So check them out and, um, you know, find a fun new online shop to shop at. So, um, Oh, Allison says for the Sweet Acres uh, fabric, she's going to some to sew and some for the stash. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, and Don's excited about Wednesday night. Yay, that's awesome. Okay, I'm excited too. It's gonna be a very fun trip. Because of that trip, we won't have a live video next Monday, um, but we will have one the following Monday. And the so that will be, let me pull up my little calendar here. Oops my calendar so then we'll be into april y'all next week is april how did that even happen it's crazy town okay so no video next week on the third because i will be heading to utah and on the 10th we will have a big sweet acres video so i will be live showing you all the fabrics and all the projects and all the new needle minders and it's going to be just a blast. We're gonna soak up all the farm things and talk about all the Sweet Acres things. I'm gonna share my inspiration behind this collection and I will show you all the fabrics. We'll, uh, we'll take some time and look at them all and, and then of course go into all the uh, projects that go with it. So it's gonna be a really fun video. So that'll be the 10th, and then the 17th, I'm going to do a regalia video. I have a baby lock regalia long arm machine, and we're and I'm far from an expert, but I can get my quilt quilted. 
<laughs> and I'm going to show you how I do it. So um, I will be happy to field as many of your questions as I can. And if I can't, then I will find out from Baby Lock what the answer is and <laughs> comment later with that. But I'm going to have a quilt set up to go. I'm going to talk about how I load my quilts. And then I'm going to talk about how I set up my regalia for doing a like a edge to edge pantograph. So just a quick video to kind of give you an idea, one, how fun it is to use the regalia and I have a pro stitcher software on it as well. So it's automated, which is delicious, you guys. So we're gonna do that next, uh, in two weeks on the 17th. So it'll be a really fun regalia video. If you've had any curiosity about seeing how a long arm machine works and how, um, how that all goes, I'm happy to give you a guide as to what I have. I love that machine. It is, it is very satisfying to be able to use and so convenient. So we're gonna do that on the 17th. And then on the 24th, we are going to kick off our Meadowland quilt along. So that is a quilt that I designed to go with the Sweet Acres fabric. I believe we are kicking it off on the 24th. I have an email to Riley Blake just to make sure that the kits are um, arriving and going to be shipped out here soon. Um, for this collection and this uh, quilt pattern, we do have kits available from Riley Blake. So the beautiful thing about that is it comes in this great box and it has the fabric for the front, all the prints, all the blocks, the background fabric and the binding fabric. All you have to do to finish it is get your backing and your batting. So really easy. And so we're gonna have those in stock, but I'm just verifying that shipping, you know how shipping is now these days, you guys, it's just crazy, right? So I'm verifying that those are arriving at the warehouse on time and will be shipped out like in time for the sew along. If we have to fudge the date on that and move it back a little bit, I will let you guys know ASAP, but right now we're on for the 24th. So unless you hear differently, um, come on the 24th ready to sew and I will show you the Meadowland quilt This is the Meadowland quilt on my little farm fence. So how fun is that? So it's um, shown here in In Sweet Acres fabrics. I would love for you to sew it up in Sweet Acres fabrics, but it's definitely not a requirement um It is you are welcome to sew along with anything you like I will have the quilt in my shop by the end of the week the quilt pattern by the end of the week and I'll post about that as well and um, it's just gonna be really fun I have my sweet acres fabrics coming I believe today so I will start getting those things loaded in the shop as quickly as I can and um, we will go from there it's gonna be so fun to sew this quilt up it's kind of Similar to our A Walk in the Woods quilt in that it's assembled in the round. So the barn is assembled and then we kind of do that little patchwork border around it. Then we're going to make up the flower and the flying geese like little flower basket blocks. And then we have stars and then we have some really fun pinwheels. So it's just a really pretty farm collection quilt, farm quilt that even if you don't live on a farm or anything, it's just, um, if you just love farmhouse style or even pretty bright floral colors, it's a really fun quilt to make. So we are gonna start that on April 24th. And it's going to be super fun to sew up. So I hope you guys join me for that. I would love it. It's gonna be a blast. <laughs> and again, I will update you guys as I get things in the shop um, including fabric and patterns and kits and new needle minders and all of that kind of stuff. Oh, Deborah says she's looking forward to another, oops, wrong camera, sorry y'all. Um, she's looking forward to another uh, sew along, the quilt is beautiful. Oh, yay, thanks so much, Deborah. I'm so glad you guys like it, yay. Oh, and Allison says she's looking forward to the regalia video. She just learned how to restart in the middle of a design after a shutdown. That was an experience. Yeah, that's not my favorite thing either, Allison, but I can give you some tips on, I can walk you through how I do that too. It's, it's fun. Okay, so I wanna show you guys my, um, my, my RBD block challenge block from last week. This week is a catch up week, so we don't have a block being released tomorrow, which is great because it lets us catch up. <laughs> and so this is the block. Oh, I kind of have it crooked. It doesn't really matter with this block. I don't really know if there's an up and a down. Maybe this way. 
This is the uh, follow the leader block from Sue Daly and this was last week's block. This is a really fun block because there, here I'll go over here. There are all sorts of design options with this one and I love blocks that that are that way. So there are, if you've joined the RBD block challenge group, you can see all kinds of different variations of ways that people have used their fabric. So we basically have flying geese, three, four sets of three flying geese, but you can mix and match how you place these. So on like these three and these three, I've done the print fabric as the outside of the flying geese. And then on these, I've done it on the interior, but you could do it all the same. You can do them all different. There are several people who have taken the layout and basically if you look right here at these pieces, they make a, a friendship star. So there are several folks who have made their flying geese, but they've taken this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece and made it a different color. And it really pops out that flying geese that, or no, a uh, friendship star that's at the center of the block. So really cute, really pretty block and really fun as far as layout and print choices. So I'm really loving this. I'll hold this up so you can see a little bit closer. That yellow looks a little funky. Let me switch to the other camera. For some reason, um, it is always funky on that front camera, but not so funky on this one. That's a better that's a better image of the colors. There we go, so you can kind of see. These are my Dainty Daisy fabrics, and I, um, I'm i sewing with Dainty Daisy as basically the prints, and I'm using my Hush Hush 2 spools fabric as the background. So you can see those tiny little spools um, peeking through the blocks every so often. So I'm really excited with how this is coming together. I cannot wait to put these all together and have a finished quilt. The quilt layout, you can get a peek at if you're really curious, but you can also just be surprised. And it's, I think it's a really fun layout, but of course they're your quilts and your blocks, so you can choose however you would like them laid out. Um, so I have strings, of course, because these are just sitting here gathering um, while we're waiting, gathering extra strings. This little tulip block is so cute. I love this one. Um, oh, these are sideways. <laughs> Can't have a sideways spool. So those are my blocks so far and they're all in Dainty Daisy and it's just a blast. So no block this week, but um, we will pick back up that first week in, let's see, yeah, no block this week. There will be a block next week. So definitely check that out. And remember, these are all free blocks. So even if you're not sewing along with the RBD block challenge, you can download the blocks and use them for anything you'd like. Um, you could make a really pretty runner out of a few of them. You could make them into pillows, like just, you know, pick one that you really like that has a fun design. Um, and you know, how cute would this one be as a, as a cute pillow for spring? Or if you did these as a runner, you know, had your little tulips marching down and you had a runner, I think that would be really, really cute. So feel free to download those and use them for whatever you would like. They are really cute blocks and they're all 10 inch finished, 10 and a half inch unfinished blocks. So you can um, take that into consideration when you're finding a project to use them in. And then the other thing that I've been working on this week, wait, I wanna make sure I didn't miss any questions. Uh, oh, Melissa says she loves this quilt. I assume you mean the Meadowland quilt, Melissa. Uh, the PDF pattern release date will be this week as well. I will get both the paper and the PDF patterns loaded this week in my shop um, by Friday <laughs> so that you guys can start gathering your fabrics, okay? Oh, Kat says, um, can't wait to start. Really enjoy the tutorials. Really love the fact that you can pause and rewatch. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, Kat. I'm so glad. Hey, Rhonda. And Pam's here. Oh, green is the same color as my blouse. It is. I love this color green, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> um, the other project that I worked on over the last couple weeks is this quilt right here. So Amanda, you guys know Amanda from Jedi Craft Girl and I are good friends. And we don't get to spend enough time together as we like because she lives in California and I live in Tennessee. And so we like to do projects together. And so we just do them long distance and we sew up the same thing at the same time. And it's just really fun to have matching quilts with my buddy. So um, this is Amanda's new pattern. We fell in love with, uh, so 
all this to say, back up. Um, Rhonda says road trip. I wish, right? We need to have it. We need to get together more often. Um, so Riley Blake Designs is a distributor for Liberty Quilting Cottons, which um, most of you guys have heard of Liberty Fabrics. They're gorgeous. Beautiful florals, beautiful details in their fabrics. Everything is so detailed and pretty. And so there was a collection that came out. It's probably been almost a year now, but it's still, you can still find it in stores. It's called Emily Bell. It's a Liberty collection, but Emily Bell is what it's called. And it's, it's, it's amazing, you guys. It's the same print repeated over, I don't even know how many, like 40 fabrics. And so you can really do some amazing things with those as far as like the rainbow of colors available in the fat quarter bundle. So what we did was we bought, um, we bought a fat quarter bundle and which can be, was pricey because there's so many fabrics in this bundle, right? Um, that, and then we split it. So it made it a whole lot more reasonable because you need fat eights for this quilt behind us that Amanda designed to go with this collection. It's called her rainy day quilt and it's actually in her store and on sale right now. And I have it linked in today's video description. You can check it out in her Etsy shop. And I'm gonna hold it up. I'm gonna see if you guys can see a little bit. It's it's gonna be hard with the cabinet, so I'm not, and also I'm short. Um, but I'm gonna see if I can hold this up for you so you can tell a little bit of what we've got going on here. So it's kind it's a rainbow quilt. So it starts with these light pinks and goes to darker pinks and then peaches and oranges and the thing i love about it is is a rainbow quilt on the diagonal so the blocks kind of go up on a diagonal if you guys can see how it starts out with the pinks and then goes darker and then i'll kind of flip here so you can see the lower half of the quilt so you can see that it continues through more pinks and greens and and blues and purples. <laughs> I'm too short for this, you guys. But if you are following me on Instagram or Facebook, I have a little video that shows you the whole thing and you can see what it looks like. And I'm going to show you some of the, this doesn't look quite so pretty as it did before I started, <laughs> but I have to put it back, right? Okay. So I'm going to show you kind of the print of it so you can see what it looks like and um, see how gorgeous it is. The nice thing about this Emily Bell fabric is it is the same print, so it's easy to kind of do your gradations. And I love that quilt because one, there's no um, half square triangles in it, which <laughs> we were joking about it together. We were like, oh, that feels kind of nice and delicious about how easy it was to sew together. Um, but you can see how there's just so many gradients of the colors and it's all the same print, but it's, it just has different colors. Now, you could easily make up her quilt pattern with any kind of color combination. It is a kind of a rainbow inspired quilt because it teaches you how to lay it out so that you have your color variations going up the diagonal. But you could grab from your stash, you know, pull your light pinks and go all the way through and use up your stash for it. The blocks are a mix of this, Kind of cloud block and then a um, chain block so definitely very scrap friendly as far as if you wanted to use up your stash so it's a really fun easy quilt to make i wanted to show it off to you guys and show you how fun it was and um, definitely check out that link in today's video description to her shop and pick up the pattern so that's a fun one oh i'm so glad you guys like it yay thanks all right let's talk about giveaways and then we will do our tips for our Country Daisies quilt. I can't believe we're at the end already. So this last week, our giveaway um, was a really fun one. My, We do a little giveaway every week and it's just my way of saying thank you to guys for tuning in and they're super easy to enter. All you have to do is leave a comment on the video and that counts as your entry. So I take all the comments on the videos and I put them in a hat a, a virtual hat <laughs> and draw one and then um, announce the winner next week so I won't be able to announce this week's winner on our video next week because we won't have one but I will post in the Facebook group and I will actually contact that person next week rather than since I won't be having a video next week 
But the prize for this last week that I had is a really fun one. It is a quilt runner um, made up with Christopher Thompson's beautiful uh, Saturday in Paris fabric. Look at those pretty fabrics. It's got navies, pinks, a really pretty like minty blue in there. And the um, quilt runner is called the Weather Vane Quilt Runner and it's made up with a beautiful star block. And I also love how big the border is on this quilt because look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, let me show you this way. <laughs> There we go, you can see it a little bit better this way. But I love that this border is so big because it actually really shows off the prints in the fabric, which is pretty. So you could make up this one, and but this is such a great collection. You could use the pattern for another runner for fall or um, Christmas. Wouldn't this be pretty in Christmas fabric too? So you can, um, this is the winner for this week. It, it comes with the quilt pattern and it comes with all this fabric. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I kind of gave it away. <laughs> the winner this week is Lee Butler. <laughs> I gave it away, you guys saw already. <laughs> so Lee, you're the winner. She was watching on Facebook last week and if you would please send me an email, bev at flamingotoes.com and I will get your kit out to you in the mail. So congratulations, Lee. <laughs> I'll put that there. And then we're going to talk about this week. So I have this week's prize. Part of it is here. The other part is coming in the mail to me this afternoon. So you're just going to have to imagine it in your head. So this week's prize is a beautiful one. I have for you, oops, I got two of the same pattern. <laughs> um, I have for you all four patterns that I am releasing for Sweet Acres. So this is the Meadowland quilt. This is the one that we are going to do for our sew along. It's getting dark in here because the sun's going behind a cloud. I also have my Country Fair quilt pattern. This is a really fun pattern. It's kind of sampler style with a very sweet dashed sashing border going through there. Isn't that cute? This one's a really fun one to sew. It looks complicated, but there's really not that many blocks and um, it just really shows off your fabric. So that one's really fun. Then I have the bluegrass quilt pattern, and this one is, it looks great with a dark background or a light background, but I loved the, I love the stained get glass effect this has on a dark background, with a dark background. So this one is also really fast. It's the exact same block made up several times and it goes together really quickly. It's a fun one. And when we have our video in two weeks with all the Sweet Acres things, I will have the actual quilts to show you guys as well. So we'll be able to, we'll do a little trunk show. It'll be a Sweet Acres trunk show. It'll be super fun. Um, so this one plus, which I thought I grabbed, <laughs> but I have um, a homestead quilt pattern that is a runner and two pillows and the runner is a cute little house and a barn and some trees. And then the pillows, one of them is the house and one of them is the barn. So you really have um, some fun choices with that pattern. So Laura says this Kentucky girl might need to make that bluegrass one. Yes, I know. We're one house away from the Kentucky border here. So I had to do a Kentucky one too because even though I'm a Tennessee girl and will always be a Tennessee girl, Kentucky has a piece of my heart because it's really just one house over <laughs> and I love it. We go up there all the time. So um, definitely I will have these patterns all in my shop, but if you would like to be entered to win um, all four patterns, which you're just gonna have to pretend there's an invisible one right there. Plus I'm going to include a fat quarter bundle of Sweet Acres fabric. So it's coming today. I was really hoping the UPS man would be here before the video started, but he is not. So we will, um, we will forgive him for that. And um, you can check that out. I will, I will announce the winner next week and um, we will, uh, it'll just be a blast. So if you would like to enter to win, just leave your name on, don't no, leave your name, comment on the video, whether you are watching on Facebook or YouTube, whether you're watching live or anytime before next Monday and it will count as your entry. So good luck to everyone for that. <laughs> Uh, Rhonda says, yay, chunk show. And Kat said, will you have the Sweet Acres box kit for, for in my shop? Yes. 
So I will have the so I will have kits in my shop. I will have a limited number because it's just me and I don't have a ton of space up there, but I will have kits in my shop. That's what I'm checking from Riley Blake on when those are shipping and so we're kind of tentatively saying the 24th for the so long, but if the kits are um, have come in late, then we might push that back a week or so. Oh, I'm so glad you guys like the prize, yay! Oh, you guys are the best. That's why, that's why I love you. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about Country Daisies. So Country Daisies is a quilt that has, let's go over our schedule. So here's the quilt and we have gone through all of the blocks in the quilt and last week we had a, uh, a week of sewing together the quilt top and then today we're gonna go over the borders. And all we have to do for this to finish up is um, sew on three borders. And it doesn't look like there's three. It does look like almost just one yellow one. But there are there's an inner background border uh, around the blocks, and then a print border, and then an outer background border. So it almost is a frame look to the quilt, and it really sets off the blocks. So there are several options here. You can see that, as I said, that we have an inner border and then the print border and the background border. And then that blue line around the whole thing is the binding. So that's what it will look like once you bind it. Um, so the fun thing about that quilt is there are options. You don't have to do it that way. If you don't love the three border option, you can do just two borders. You can do an inner border and then make your background border or your print border larger if you would like to. That will have to, you'll have to do, play with your math a little bit on that because you will be cutting your background border wider, but it would also look really cute that way with a, just a really full print border if you would like. So that's an option to consider if you don't like doing the extra, you know, background border on the outside. Um, because we are doing three borders, it's really important that you measure before cutting. Now I have in the quilt pattern, the measurements that you should cut your borders, but it's a very good rule of thumb that even if you're pretty accurate with your sewing, always measure your quilt top before you cut your borders because you're piecing together tons of seams, there's tons of blocks that will, that, you know, even the slightest amount being off on you know a seam multiplied times however many seams are in a block you know a hundred seams if it's a very pieced piecey block <laughs> um, can make that measurement off and that doesn't mean you did anything wrong that just means that um, you know obviously if you've got your quilt top together everything fits together fine it just means that your quilt is just slightly different than mine, which is fine. It doesn't, there's no, <laughs> that doesn't mean it's bad, it's just different. Um, so always check the measurements of your quilt top before you cut your borders. So in this case, what you'll wanna do is sew together your quilt top if you haven't already done that, and then you'll want to measure it. And the way that I always re recommend you measure your quilt top, and we'll just have a sample here, and we'll pretend that this is a whole quilt. <laughs> um, so this is my quilt in miniature, right? And we're gonna add borders to this, but I have a lot of piecing here. You can see seams here, and you can multiply this times um, however many for a quilt. But if you measure, you know, and you're measuring along here, and you're measuring your quilt, it's very easy to pull. So like this block is 10 and a half inches, right? Which it is showing at 10 and a half inches. But if I'm measuring this and I'm dealing with, you know, 60 or 70 inches of fabric, it's very easy to one, get off on my measurements because uh, very few of us have a cutting board that will measure 60 or 70 inches. And I do not put them on the floor. I have dogs and there's no way I'm laying my quilt on the floor or mopping my floor every time I need to lay a quilt on it. I mean, I mop my floor, you guys, but. You know what I'm saying, right? I measure on my cutting table. So it's very easy to, even on a little block like this, to pull it a little bit to measure it. And you can see that I've pulled it even a quarter of an inch and that can be off. So to get a more accurate measurement and less likely for you to pull those seams a little bit, 
is fold your quilt in half. So you'll do the same thing for the width and the length. Usually I sew my side borders on before my top and bottom and that's the way all my quilts are written. So I would fold my quilt sideways so that this is the length, you know, top and bottom are down here and I would measure this, this measurement would be the length of my quilt. So that would be the length that I would cut my side, left and right side borders. And then once I've sewn them on, I would turn my quilt and measure the other way. But I'm measuring down the center of the quilt as opposed to the edge of the quilt. Does that make sense? I know this is very small and it's hard to gauge and it's square. But, um, <laughs> um, so it's, um, it's just a great caution as far as, you know, getting a more accurate measurement. So do that first for cutting your pieces. Then you'll want to make sure that you do that at each step. And I know it's redundant and I know it seems like, well, if I got the first border in place correctly and it was the right measurement, then the others will be too. It's, it's just a good safe habit to get into to measure at each step because that way, especially with three borders, it's very easy to sew those on, have them be a little bit longer than you need to be, and then start ending up with your quilt having those points. And it's, you know, not gonna be like that sharp of, a, of an angle going into those points, but you do want it to be as rectangular or squared up as possible. So if you measure at each step, you're more likely to be cutting your borders at accurate amounts and less likely to be kind of pushing or pulling your fabric to get them to fit. So those would be my big cautions and encouragements for you guys as you sew on this one, especially since we're doing three borders. Take the time to measure and make sure that your measurements, um, that your borders are the right length for your quilt. So do that before you cut. <laughs> All right, so that's all I have for you guys. I cannot wait to see your finished quilts. Make sure that you um, check out my uh, blog this week. I will post about the Meadowland Quilt Along coming soon. And in the shop, I will have the Sweet Acres fabric as soon as I can. And those patterns will definitely be in there by Friday. And we will be having a sale to celebrate all the new things, but it won't be until after I get back from uh, Utah next week. So keep that in mind. If you want to go ahead and get your fabrics and things now, that's fine. I understand wanting to get everything ordered before the sew along. I'm just wanting to be upfront with you guys and let you know as well. You guys know I try and help you out, out as much as I can with um, sale pricing too. So. Um, we will have a sale the following week after I get back from Utah and um, oh let's see Dorothy said she tuned in late she's um, excited for Sweet Acres she's going to use it for the Daisy's Garden oh I love that that's awesome Dorothy yay okay so check me out in Utah next week I will be um, on Wednesday night at my girlfriend's quilt shop which is what the name of the shop is my girlfriend's quilt shop and um, I have that linked in today's video description. I also have the um, quilt over my corner, um, Amanda's Rainy Day Quilt. Don't forget to go purchase that pattern while it's only $5. I mean, you guys, that's a steal. And speaking of $5 quilt patterns, every month I have a pattern of the month. Sometimes I forget to mention it in the video, but it's always linked at the bottom of the video description. So you can always check that out. This month, the pattern on sale for only $5 in my shop is Singing in the Rain, which is a fun row quilt that we did a few years ago for my Singing in the Rain fabrics, and it is a really fun quilt. It's got umbrellas, it's got flowers and hearts and uh, raindrops. It's just so sweet for spring, you guys, but it's only on sale for the rest of March, so you only have a few more days to pick that up if you've been wanting to make up this Singing in the Rain quilt then now would be a great time to buy it. You could also get it as a gift for a friend. So, and you could even, you know, just give them the pattern if they're a quilty friend. <laughs> All right, you guys, I've had a blast sewing up this quilt with you guys. I will be back um, for our Monday videos in two weeks and we will do the Sweet Acres Trunk Show and it'll be super fun. And then the week after that, we'll do the Regalia Long Arm video. So that will be really fun too. 
and I will see you guys soon. I will miss seeing you next week, but hopefully you'll be able to tune in Wednesday at our live um, and check that out and maybe do a little shopping. So, <laughs> all right, you guys have a fabulous week and I will see you in two weeks. Thanks so much for everything. Thank you.